Tumai is the name given to this skull, thought by many anthropologists to be the oldest hominin fossil on record at 7 million years old. Discovered in 2001 in Chad, a Central African region, the species was named Salanthropis chadensis, which literally means human from the Sahel of Chad. The hominin classification accepted by many is because of the foramen magnum position, suggesting an upright walking posture, and also the small canines, which are more human-like than chimp. This hominin classification isn't universally accepted. Some anthropologists have put forward arguments, saying although the foramen magnum appears in a similar position to humans, other elements of the skull suggest a muscle structure that would have prevented them keeping their head up for consistent upright walking, and the teeth similarity could be a case of parallel evolution. Also used to argue against the hominin classification is a femur bone associated to Tumai was analysed more recently, and the findings published are interpreted as showing the legs were more similar to a chimp than a human. What could explain this mixed morphology of Salanthropis chidensis? Is the results of a genetic study done in 2006. In 2006, geneticists compared the genome of a chimp and humans, and found that our X chromosome is surprisingly similar. They suggested the best explanation for this was that there wasn't a clean split point in our species divergence. The split was more complex than a simple separation into two groups and separate evolution from then on. They published that the initial split happened over 10 million years ago, which was followed by a long period of interbreeding until the definitive divide into Pan and lineage leading to Homo no more recently than 5.3 million years ago. There are, as with most hypotheses in this contentious field, arguments to this. So far, it's not been disproved, but as research continues, another answer to our similar X chromosome might be found. Salanthropis chidensis is the only chimp-like hominoid on fossil record, dated close to the final split point, at 7 million years old. Unfortunately, the oldest chimp fossil known is at most 545,000 years old, and the oldest unequivocal hominin fossil is 4.2 million years old, Australopithecus anamensis, who's believed to be the ancestor to Australopithecus afarensis, who in turn is widely thought to be a predecessor to our own genus Homo. Because the fossil record is so sparse during the era when human and chimpanzee lineages split, it's difficult to say if Salanthropis chidensis was genuinely an ancestor to both humans and chimpanzees. An infertile hybrid of both lineages, comparable to a liger, a similar cousin species that coincidentally had mixed features of both bipedal and quadruped function, or another group that diverged from the common human and chimp ancestor. It's down to you to make your own mind up on Salanthropis gigensis. Their morphology does seem to place them as somewhere between a hominin and a chimp, and the fossil date puts them as the only candidate we have on record during the approximate time frame of divergence. It's this channel's opinion, if they didn't contribute to modern chimp and human genomes, they at least represent a similar species to what did. It's easy to forget chimps have been evolving to their forested environment for as long as we have the open ground. An ancestor species to both chimps and humans is likely nuanced not chimp or bipedal ape. Until more fossils are found, we're left to speculate on how chimp or human they truly were. What complicates things more is research into the gorilla genome revealed elements of chromosome 5 
in chimps and humans came from gorillas approximately 6 million years ago. That, along with a 3.4 million year old fossil find, has been said to be conclusive evidence that introgression of gorilla genetics caused the final chimpanzee australopithecine split, and also the speciation of the more robustly built bipedal ape line of Paranthropus, believed to be a dead end line. A full video on Paranthropus and the gorilla information is coming soon. The more we learn about genetics and extinct hominoid species, the more complex our origin story is likely to become. What can be said at this moment is humans being the most distinct of the living great apes. Might be because we're a hybrid species. Our DNA being a mix and match from many great ape and bipedal ape ancestors. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to subscribe, like or leave a comment.